what is going on guys? I am Black Ops Amazing. Welcome back to another Zombies video where today we are looking at the story of Avogadro. The unknown electrified zombie creature that we find within the map Transit. This character who we have absolutely no background on at all. This is going to be a very hard and challenging video to do but because you guys requested it in the previous video and because we're going through all of our characters i thought you know what let's get this out of the way let's find out the unknown story of the avogadro as always if you enjoyed the video if i could quickly remind you guys to leave me a like rating absolutely the best thing you can do for me and just really means a lot when i see a ton of support on the videos it just makes me happy that you guys are enjoying the videos that i'm making for you make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss another zombies video on the channel and click that little bell icon as well because youtube right now is a bit messed up but anyway enjoy the video let's get into it deep down underground in Hanford, Washington, USA. In the late 1990s, early 2000s, an unknown group of American scientists were taking part in a research program to win the war on weather change. They thought that if the USA could have the ability to change the weather, they would have power over the world. Being able to send electricity strikes to one country to shut down its electricity grid, leaving that country in the dark, giving the USA an advantage. They maybe even thought that they could use electricity, thunderstorms, rain, to even strike down and kill the enemy if another war was to ever break loose. This secret research station was hidden way underground, and it's believed that the program was joined alongside the HARP research station in Gakona, Alaska. It's thought that HARP and this underground research station in Hanford were working together to try to find a way to control the weather. The HARP research station came up with an idea that in Instead, maybe a human would be the better choice, would have the ability to control the weather. And so a scientist volunteered to undergo experimentation and the experiment was successful. It is believed that the successful experiment was then sent over to the underground power station in Hanford and was kept for watch in a high security generator. This creature that they had created was called the Avogadro, where for years they locked and kept the Avogadro in this generator, watched him and tried to learn of his abilities and we're going to use him if a war was ever to break loose. It is also believed that they used the Avogadro to power up the United States because of the mass amount of energy that he produced. He would have the ability to power up the whole of Hanford City. Maybe even more, who knows. But the Avogadro now having the ability to create thunderstorms right above his head. He could release electricity to kill people if ever needed just by the tip of his fingers, having the ability to power up anything in his facility, the Avogadro was the ultimate, all powerful being able to control the weather. With this underground power facility, using him and keeping him locked in here for years, one day when the missiles from the moon hit the earth, everyone in the power facility and surrounding the area in Hanford was killed. If not by the blast from the rockets, then the zombies breaking into the facility finish them off. Not long after our four survivors, Misty Moulton, Russman and Stuhlinger, stumbled across this underground power facility. Where, depending on which side of the easter egg you do, depends on whether you release the Avogadro from the generator. I believe if you do the Max's side of the easter egg, you turn on the power, meaning the little cage that is trapped in will rise up and the Avogadro will be released and set free. But if we release the Avogadro, he will then wreak havoc around the map, causing the transit crew a problem, chasing after us. The Avogadro will spawn in in a large ball of lightning and appear in his humanoid shape. You can kind of see his heart, where it was previously, or some kind of organ. You can also see what looks to be his brain. And the rest of his body, his veins seem to be or look like electricity. And when he spawns in, he will try to kill the transit crew. But bullets don't damage him. The Avogadro can only be killed when the crew knife him or throw an EMP grenade at him. When we damage the Avogadro enough, he will spin around, fly up, and disappear into the clouds. But later on at the end of the easter egg, our characters realise that they need the Avogadro, they need his electricity, his power, to power up the pylon. It would also seem that maybe Maxis knew about the Avogadro's existence. By the time that the Avogadro was created, World War II would have been well over, but the Avogadro monster was still a secret project. He was still hidden and not known about underground in the USA. But anyway, after we use him to power up the pylon and transits, our characters then move on to their next location. They are teleported over to die rise as for the avogadro what happens to him after this we don't know but the avogadro gets his name from 
Amadeo Avogadro, who was an Italian scientist born in 1776 and died at the age of 79 in 1856, who was most known for his contribution to the molecular theory now known as Avogadro's law, which is an experimental gas law relating to volume of gas to the amount of substance of gas present. Maybe Amadeo Avogadro could have also had some inspiration or there could have been a link between him and Michael Faraday. Faraday was the English scientist that we saw pictured up in the haunted house in Buried. We see random pictures of him throughout Buried and he is known for his contribution to the study of electromagnetism and electrochemistry. And his main discoveries included the principles underlying electromagnetic induction, diamagnetism and electrolysis. So could Michael Faraday, Amadeo Avogadro and the Avogadro monster in transit be linked in some way? I think that's something for another video and something we'll find out in the future. But for now, that's all we have. There's really not much at all on the Avogadro. So a lot of it's theory and linking things together. And I've given you absolutely everything I could find for you guys in this video. And that is the story of the Avogadro. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As always, if you have a like rating, if you haven't done it already, it would mean a lot to me. Can we go for 2,000? likes i'm gonna leave that for you guys it's totally up to you thank you for watching make sure you are subscribed leave a comment let me know your thoughts and who would you like to see the story of next and i will see you all in the next video thank you for watching and peace out